All right, I'm sitting with Tom Hopper, who plays Dickon Tarly in Game of Thrones, Percival in Merlin, and Billy Bones in Black Sails. Correct. Done my research. How you going, man? Well done, well done. That's all three. Tick, tick, tick. Very good. Any plans for Sydney so far? Uh, well, I've only got two more days here. It's more what we've been doing quite a lot in the week. Um, me and Keegan Allen went down to Bondi Beach for a couple of days and chilled out of the beach, had some good food and everything. It was, uh, it's been good, actually. Yeah, I've been to Sydney once before and did the bridge climb and all that sort of thing. So I've done that kind of touristy thing. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. I see you went and saw Kinky Boots, is that right? Oh, yeah, Kinky Boots was great. I loved that show. Kinky Boots. Your arms themselves have an Instagram page. Have you? Are you familiar with that? I, I'm aware of the page, yeah, and it, it gives me a lot of humour. A lot of people, uh, you know, send me these, these <laughs> images or repost these things, and... Uh, yeah, whoever does that page is is very funny. Like they, they put it in a great light. Yeah, because a lot of your a lot of your roles you're sleeveless in all of them. So the 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 page is just photos and photos and photos and photos of you going back years and years with veins in your arms. It's um, you know, it's enough to turn a man down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean they they've really done their research on uh, my arms. Yeah, um, I didn't even know half of those images existed, and I was like, God, oh, they're all, that that. That arm is quite veiny there, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it says that there's ones I saw that was like, it's like two anacondas running up his arm. And I was like, that's a good one. That's a new one. So recently you've been killed off brutally in Game of Thrones. Lord Randall Tarly, Dick and Tarly. I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Dracarys. I was told by someone, if you're gonna die, you may as well make it a good death. So what were your first reactions to that death scene? Yeah, absolutely. That's actually the, one of the reasons why I was really excited about doing the role, because, you know, you could take a gig on something like Game of Thrones, it's obviously gonna be a big gig, but then, you know, you wanna know, if it's only a few episodes, you wanna know how are you going to go? So when you find out how you die, you want it to be a good death. And I, I read that and was like, yes, this is good. This is good. That's a good death. So, um, yeah, I will take it all day long. Yeah, it's a good one. So you're no longer a key player in, uh, in the Game of Thrones universe. So do you have any predictions where the show will go and how it might end? Not really. No. Yeah, pretty pretty low on, on predictions, really. Uh, there's, there's so many fan theories now that I haven't, I haven't got a clue which way it's going to go. And it's also, it's kind of ambiguous with the way the story's been so far, of which way it could go. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to just let it see it, uh, play it out and uh, see what happens. Mostly incest, I find, is going to be the way that it ends. There's been a lot of incest so far, so that's just going to be where it takes off to. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of glad that I've been killed off when I did, in case, uh, you know, I had a special scene with Sam. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I didn't have to do that. Yeah. Did you see where I'm going with that? Yeah, good. I don't know if you got it or not. We'll do that. <laughs> so with your roles with uh, Merlin, Black Sails and Game of Thrones, what's the appeal of such physical roles? I just love like getting involved. Like I love um, the action stuff is is so much fun, you know, especially when it's involving horses or sword fighting or, you know, running up and down, you know, the the the, the mast and stuff in Black Sails, you know, it's um, that's where it's really, really fun. You know, I just love getting involved with all that stuff. I'm always, you know, the first one willing to jump up there and do it. So, uh, yeah, I, I, long may that sort of stuff last. So I feel getting killed off is sort of like losing your job almost. So what have you got coming up now? Because it'll be really interesting to see now that everyone's familiar with you because everyone watch Game, watches Game of Thrones. Uh, do you have any upcoming roles that are worth mentioning? Uh, yeah, so I've got um, a couple of things going on. I'm doing a... Um, a movie called The Climber, which is about, uh, it's a biopic movie about a climber called Gary Hemming. Um, that's gonna be really cool. Again, it's like another kind of action thing, but it's also gonna really test my acting abilities as well. It's uh, playing a, a real life guy who lived and, you know, and he's, uh, he's gotta be done justice. So that, that's a lot of, you know, I feel the pressure to get that right. And then um, I'm actually doing, trying my hand at a bit of comedy as well. I'm doing a movie with uh, Amy Schumer. Uh, just, just wrapped on that now, that comes out next summer. 
and then I've got a new show that I'm doing that I'm not allowed to announce yet but I'm thinking that people at this sort of thing will uh, but you're teasing it anyway I'm teasing it yeah <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure there's no way by me saying that that, that anyone will guess what it is but um, I'm, I'm thinking that people at this sort of thing will, will you know enjoy whatever it is that I'm doing yeah well I'm looking forward to it mate Thanks, cheers bro. so much appreciate it cheers